Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Czech World live demonstration area. Our next demonstration will be conducted by Aerovac Composites 1. Aerovac will do a dynamic demonstration contrasting traditional in-shop kit cutting with their specialized custom material kits, resulting in significant time saving and efficiency. Please give a very warm welcome to our two experts, Jim Knox, a technical services manager from Aerovac, and James Jones, a lead technical support manager from Composites One. Gentlemen, the demonstration stage is yours. Thank you, Joanna, and welcome, everyone. Aerovac is a leading global supplier of vacuum bagging consumables. Uh, our locations here in Europe or Mondavi, Italy is our film manufacturing plant. In Toulouse, France, we manufacture the kits that we'll be demonstrating today. We also have locations in the UK, the USA, and Brazil, and we do supply our products globally. Now, what is a kit? So the conventional way to get and use your vacuum bagging consumables is in a roll stock form. For many customers, this is uh, perfectly acceptable, but we found many customers enjoy our service where we will pre-cut all of the vacuum bagging consumables so that they precisely fit your tool. That can be every layer that you use in your layup, the vacuum bagging film, the breather, the release film, peel ply, if it's an infusion kit, flow media instead of breather. Our number one market where this service is most popular is aerospace but we have customers in automotive and marine and wind who also enjoy this service. In the wind industry, we offer a unique solution where we take advantage of the nature of wind blades being much wider at the root and narrower at the tip where we can nest two together, and we call those pre-cut formats. Uh, another word about kitting, we can make a separate final bag kit and also a debulk kit. In our debulk kits, we will use a product called Aerovac's Quick Draw, which is embossed. It allows you to debulk without the need for a breather. As part of our kitting process, we can also deliver the bag to you pre-pleated, with or without sealant tape. And if it's a very large bag, we can thermally weld it together for you into one piece. As far as why would you do kits, uh, the quick why is that it's faster you will be able to bag up a part in about one third of the time versus using roll stock. It also eliminates waste because we are cutting it to precisely fit so you have no trimming and no waste. Okay, so with that explanation out of the way, um, we're gonna start our demo. Uh, my colleague, Nicola, you see he's gonna open the bag here. So uh, in terms of the kit itself, and why don't we go ahead and start the video as well, the pre-recorded video. And I'll explain that as we get started. Yeah, the demo we're doing today is, is going to simulate the uh, the bagging, the final bagging process for an autoclave uh, prepreg part. We don't have a prepreg on the tool today. We're just going to show the process materials that are being used. So, um, if the layer he's putting down now, this is another time saver. He's using our combination product that is our A6200 ETFE release film with our RC3000 10 ounce polyester breather. Uh, these are pre-laminated together so they can go down two and one. Uh, and if you look at the video in the bottom right corner of your screens, you will see a recording of us bagging up this tool using roll stock. Uh, in this case, they're beginning with just the release film as the first layer. Uh, and you have an example here of the kind of waste you'll see in your shop using roll stock. You have to cut an oversized piece and then hand trim it and throw the, the scrap in the waste bin. Whereas here, there's no waste. It's all uh, precisely fitting the tool. And with the shape of this tool, um, it requires a lot of tailoring of the process materials when, when cutting from roll stock. You'll notice the kit is already pre-tailored. There's some uh, features in the kit that we can't do with the roll stock either, as we can include extra tabs of the release film 
so that our breather does not come in contact with our prepreg. Yep. A word about the way it'll arrive to you packaged. You know, if you notice in the beginning, uh, Nicola, you know, we had our kit, all of our pre-cut materials were folded and sealed in this bag. Uh, we manufacture our kits in a carefully humidity-controlled environment. Our facility in Toulouse, uh, you know, we maintain constant humidity to keep the film soft, so it'll arrive to you ready for use, uh, soft and humidity-controlled. You just cut it open and use it. And a quick word about packaging. Um, we can work with you depending on the size of your kit and your needs. We can deliver it to you rolled on a core rather than uh, folded if that is better for your application. The other advantage about kits is you know the exact cost for each part that you produce. Uh, there's no waste, uh, so you don't have to try to figure out what percentage of a roll that you're using on, on each part. So you have um, everything included in your kit and the exact cost uh, to go along with your part. Uh, my colleague, Nicola, is taping down each of those tabs using uh, Aravax flash tape one product. Uh, it's suitable for use in autoclave cures you know, up to 204C, uh, works well, removes easily uh, at the end of the process. So if you notice on the, the inset video, they're still working on uh, cutting the, the release film to size. So Nicola has um, almost finished the, the release film and the breather layer. Uh, while in the, uh, in the video with the roll stock, they're still working on the release film. And Aravac has a full line of vacuum bagging consumables. So, you know, we can tailor the materials in your kit to your need. The weight of the breather, the thickness of the breather that you might need. We have a variety of release films suitable for different temperatures and applications. And we can work with the materials that are on your specification. Uh, you will find that Aravac has many materials qualified to most major customer specifications. One of the things you'll notice in the uh, video with the inset is they're using a pair of shears to uh, tailor the material. You'll notice the only cutting instrument we had for the kit was to open the, uh, the poly bag that houses the kit. So now we're applying the, uh, the Vac Seal 2042 sealant tape to the perimeter of the mold. Vac Seal 2042 is a very good general purpose sealant tape. It's very tacky at room temperature. Uh, works very well in autoclave cures up to 204C and strips easily and cleanly at the end of the cure. We do have a wide variety of sealant tapes as well. We have uh, higher and lower temperature sealant tapes depending on your cure temperature. As far as the kit design process, we can uh, reverse engineer uh, your process material kits. Our technicians can come to your facility and, uh, and work with your operators to, to design the proper kit. Uh, we also have uh, CAD capabilities. Uh, we have uh, CATIA software where um, you can share your drawings in a, a secure environment, and uh, we can engineer the kit from CAD drawings. Yes, and as part of that design process, we can begin with the surface layer of your tool and then connect that with the specific details of where you need pleats located, pleat size. Um, we'll come into your facility and work with you, get those details to ensure we have it all in the kit design. And I see uh, Nicola is beginning to lay out the vacuum bagging film, so uh, we should talk about that now. Uh, we're using here our StretchVac 4000 uh, pink vacuum bagging film. StretchVac 4000 is good to 214C. It's used in a wide variety of applications from autoclave cures to infusion. It's designed to be a particularly soft film and to remain soft in a wide variety of environmental conditions, even in areas where it's very dry. You'll notice the bag is already cut to size. With vacuum bagging, you want, you want the bag to be about 25 to 30% larger than the, uh, the uh, part you're, you're vacuum bagging. And you'll also notice um, there's sealant tape already installed onto the bag for the pleats that will take up the excess bagging material. I'll show you the uh, sealant tape here. 
So that um, a lot of kits do not come with the sealant tape already installed, but uh, it's a possibility. And uh, the bag is also marked, uh, so the operator knows exactly where the pleats land on the tool. And so that uh, is an excellent training tool. This is, um, you know, a lot of people consider vacuum bagging to be a, uh, a highly skilled operation. Um, so it takes some of the guesswork out and some of the uh, artistry when uh, vacuum bagging. So you'll see the operator knows where to place the bag every single time so that the parts fit the same every time. Uh, it brings a lot of consistency to the, uh, the vacuum bagging process. Yes, uh, on that note, you know, we mentioned earlier that with kitting, you can eliminate the waste from cutting too large of a bag. But by the same token, as James said, if your technician cuts the bag too small and then bags it up anyway, and you don't have enough material for your pleats, you can get bridging, you can maybe rupture the bag and lose your part or impact the quality of your part. So uh, the, besides the time savings, there's a huge quality advantage here because it'll be consistent, bag the same way every time. And in support of that, you notice the markings on the bag. We can work with you to put whatever markings you need. You know, we're using the Aravac name on the top middle, and that is marking where the center of the bag goes. So when you pull it out and put it down, you know exactly uh, where to locate the bag. Also with the lines, we can mark pleat locations for you, pleat sizes. Um, we could. You know, we can put a part number on the bag. We can put any marking that helps you and your technicians in your shop. Yeah, if we look at the inset video, they're still working on the breather material. And, um, you know, we're, we're sealing the vacuum bag on, on the kit material at this time. Yeah, it, yes. We... we Usually the uh, kitting is about three times faster. It obviously depends on your specific tool, but there's huge time savings here. You know, we've got the vacuum bag mostly done and we're still on just the breather in the, in the video. Um, a word about our kitting facility. If you look in the video in the bottom right, you'll notice they're wearing the lab coats, the hair nets. Uh, we do all of our kidding, not only temperature and humidity controlled, but in a very uh, FOD-free environment where we keep it very clean to ensure that there's no foreign objects uh, anywhere in your kitted solution. The other thing to notice about the, the video where they're uh, vacuum bagging from roll stock is we have two operators doing the vacuum bagging process. You'll notice during our demonstration today, we're using one operator and we're, uh, we're still proceeding much faster. So not only is, is the time savings faster, we also have less labor hours uh, to manufacture our part. Another benefit can be safety. Uh, you'll notice that there's no cutting or trimming needed. So that eliminates a cut hazard, a hand safety risk in your facility uh, where you don't need to cut these materials. Also, if you're working with very, very large parts, the roll stock can be quite heavy, uh, whereas the kitted solution is quite light, so there's no lifting hazard uh, for your operators. You know, one of the things we recommend is when getting started with kits, that you actually uh, get started with a tool that is uh, very complicated. So it might include uh, stiffeners or a very complex geometry something that, that takes a very long time to vacuum bag using traditional methods uh, where you'll get the, the most impact and uh, the most labor savings. Absolutely, because what we really want to do is solve a problem for you. This is, this is another service. You know, if you have a particularly difficult tool, this could be a solution. Uh, the way we would get started with kitting with you if you've never done kitting is we would choose that, that tool or part that's particularly difficult uh, we come in and design it, and then we make a sample. And then we would want to come in with the sample for the first fit check to you know, apply it, test everything, be sure it's precisely fitting exactly as you need, all the pleats in the right location, the correct size, be sure all the dimensions are accurate. And then if there's any minor tweaks that are needed after the fit test, we will go back, we'll update our designs in Katia 
and we were ready at that point to, uh, for commercially supplying you the bag. So on the inset video, they're just now starting to uh, measure and cut the vacuum bag film. Um, and we're, we're almost completely sealed here. Uh, Nicola is just uh, doing the, the final edge, I believe. And uh, one more, so two more edges. And um, so what he's doing is he's uh, sealing the center of the bag down and working his way out uh, to, the, uh, to the pleat to take up the extra bag so there's no wrinkles on the sealant tape and we'll get a very secure uh, vacuum tight seal. And we, we have two kitting facilities globally at Aravac, uh, one here in Toulouse, France, one in Salt Lake City in the USA, so that we can get the kitted solution to you wherever you are in the world, whichever of those two facilities uh, makes the most sense logistically for supplying the kit. So on the, on the uh, video from the roll stock, they're just now uh, applying the sealant tape to the perimeter of the tool. And you can see we did that on our kit several minutes ago. And, um, you know, there's only one and a half edges to go to seal the bag. Yeah, and what we're demonstrating today, you know, is a, a typical kitting for prepreg or aerospace, but we do offer infusion kits as well, where in that case, uh, often in infusion applications, the bag can be much larger, perhaps the hull of a boat. Uh, we can thermally weld or seam it together for you with sealant tape to provide the very large bag. And then we can kit your uh, flow media for your infusion and also provide kitted uh, all of the vacuum line, feed lines, tubing, fittings that you need on a uh, Per infusion basis as part of the kit. Jim had al also mentioned that we can uh, kit many different materials. So another material we might add to a kit like this would be a peel ply. So it would be cut to shape. You would have no fraying of the edges and uh, it would go right down on the part, fit exactly how it needs to fit with no wrinkling, uh, no frayed edges, no fod. Yeah, and speaking of peel ply, uh, as part of our kitting operation, we have a laser cutter, so it both cuts and edge seals, peel ply and other fabrics, so we can give you that nice clean edge on your kitted solution with peel ply. And a word about the way we make our kits in general, for small and medium sized kits, we make them on automated cutting tables. So we design it in Katia and then we load that into the cutting table and it, Everything is cut precisely and very quickly. So it's more efficient than doing it by hand. So by having us cut it for you on our automated cutting tables, we can take cost out of the total supply chain because we can cut it more quickly than you can and then it's much faster for you to use in your shop. And also it reduces waste throughout the full supply chain because when we're cutting these kits with our cutting table, we can nest parts together you know, imagine if you're baking cookies and you cut out all the shapes to waste less material around the edges and the frame of that part. So you can see we're about seven and a half minutes in on the video. They're just now starting to, um, to seal the vacuum bag. They're still uh, sizing it and um, getting ready to seal it. Nicola is now done sealing the vacuum bag. He's about ready to pull vacuum. So you can see where, where Nicola is. He's um, installed part of the vacuum brake unit. That's how we uh, apply vacuum to our, to our vacuum bag. So the vacuum brake unit, he doesn't have to use any sharp tools. It's a self-cutting unit. It's uh, the top part just threads into the, the bottom part that's already under the bag, and it pierces the bag as you thread it in. So we have our vacuum pump running in the back. Connect it with a quick disconnect fitting, and you'll see the bag draw down. We'll do the final placement, make sure there's no bridging, and um, you know, we'll be ready to cure our part. So we're applying vacuum about the eight-minute mark, and in the roll stock video, 
Um, it takes them two operators about half an hour to do the same process. So we're able to use one operator in about less than one third of the time to uh, vacuum bag the same part. And it's gonna be the exact same every time because the materials are cut to the same shape. There's gonna be no variability in the process. And a quick word about materials. We also have a full line of uh, vacuum bagging material as well. So we can tailor your vacuum bag to your temperature. Uh, whether it's an infusion application or pre preg So we have a vacuum bagging films designed for every temperature, you know, from ambient all the way up to 750F. Also in our kitting facility in Toulouse, France, uh, and as well as our film production plant in Mondovi, Italy, we have perforation equipment to perforate the release film for you, a variety of patterns. We can include uh, the correct perforation pattern in your kit if you as needed, and if kitting is not uh, the solution for you, we also have slitting capability where we can take our roll stock and slit it to the correct width uh, for your application to use as roll stock. I guess with that, um, we're ready to take any questions if, um, if you have any questions. Yeah, while they're working on getting the mic, I'll just say that, um, you know, okay. again, if you look, we're basically done here. It's back down. Uh, Nicola's just making the last few checks. So we're complete. Uh, took about nine minutes, I believe. The, it, if you were, were to watch the complete video, which we don't have time for, it takes close to 30 minutes to bag it up from roll stock. So it is about one third of the time. Okay. If you have any questions, uh, for AeroVac Composites 1, uh, don't hesitate. Now is the time. I have a question for you, gentlemen. What type of composite part would you say most benefits from kitting? I would say um, parts with complex shapes where it, it's quite difficult to working with roll stocks, tailoring it to the shape where you're prone to making errors, your technician is prone to making errors and they spend a lot of time tailoring it to the shape. So, uh, you know, very simple flat parts, you know, are, are perhaps better for roll stock and complex shapes for kits. Yeah. Yeah, and additional features, like if you have uh, integrated stiffeners on your part where it requires a lot of pleating, we only had um, eight pleats on this part, but if we had stiffeners, we would have pleats um, at each stiffener. That would be a, a great opportunity for kids. Any other questions from the audience? Ah, I have a question over here. We have a mic for you. Gentleman in blue. Hi, I have a question at what number of products does this start to make sense? Uh, what number of products? Yeah, I guess if you make one product, the time you save against the cost of the kit doesn't really weight the oh, difference. That's a good question. Yeah, I, that's a key point. If you, this is best for um, parts that you make a lot of because, you know, if you only make the part occasionally, you're not going to gain a lot of advantage. So high volume parts is where it'll save you a lot of time. Um, as far as a rule of thumb. Yeah, it really depends on the, the uh, size and the complexity of the part, all the materials that go into it. But you could, uh, you could see savings with an, an order of quantity of, uh, of 10 or, or more, generally. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Right behind you. Any other questions from the audience? One last question, gentlemen. Can you kit with materials specified by your customer? Yes, yes. Uh, AirVac products are widely specified on ma major customers' um, qualified products list. So, yes, we can do that. Okay, great. So it's all about service, it seems.
Thank you so much, gentlemen. Aerovac will be back for another demonstration, a second demonstration on the benefits of their vacuum infusion with their custom kits today at 2.45. Otherwise, don't hesitate to visit them at stand 5H13 in Hall 5 if you have further questions. Ladies and gentlemen, our next live demonstration will take place in 15 minutes with MVP who will walk us through the detailed process of conducting a silicon membrane within an existing mold. See you back here then at 11.30 and if not, enjoy your day at the Jack World Show.